Imagine you're someone suffering from a long-term condition such as arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, etc. Chances are you'd probably be a bit worried regarding physical activity and its safeness. We as healthcare professionals are mostly not that well equipped to reassure and motivate people with these conditions. The World Health Organization commissioned an umbrella review regarding adverse events per pathology for people with long-term conditions. Let's talk about that statement. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Physical activity is important for people with long-term conditions. In this paper, a few statements were made per syndrome or symptom. Let's start off with musculoskeletal pain. The authors state that physical activity will not increase pain in the long term. A temporary increase, though, is common until the body adapts. There is no evidence to suggest that pain correlates with tissue damage. Aerobic training, resistance training, range of motion exercises, land or water-based exercises, all are likely to be beneficial for osteoarthritis. Activity modification should be encouraged during symptomatic exacerbations. Patients who experience fatigue can benefit as well. A temporary increase in fatigue is to be expected until the body adapts. People experiencing fatigue related to chronic syndromes may benefit from specialist advice. Physical activity will be beneficial in a broad range of conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus, coronary heart disease, inflammatory bowel disease, sarcoidosis, fibromyalgia, cancer, and MS. It is normal for people to feel breathless when exercising. However, the risk of adverse events in people experiencing breathlessness is very low. Breathlessness and COPD patients can result in avoidance of physical activity and subsequent worsening of symptoms, so make sure that the activity here is tolerated. Patients suffering from heart failure can experience fewer adverse events with regular physical activity. What about cardiac chest pain? The risk of adverse events slightly increase with regular physical activity and with age, but does not outweigh the benefits. A gradual increase is advised. When undertaking unaccustomed vigorous intensity exercise, an increased risk is perceived during and two hours after exercise. The absolute risk though is very low and will lower when cardiovascular fitness improves. Absolute contraindications are listed here. Awareness of your heartbeat during physical activity can be a bit scary. Physical activity is contraindicated if the patient suffers from untreated cardiac tachy or bradyarrhythmia. If atrial fibrillation is present and controlled, the physical activity is advised to be started gradually. Regular physical activity is associated with lower risk of all-cause mortality in these patients. The benefits, again, of physical activity outweigh the risk in both types of diabetes. Hypoglycemia is the most common adverse event associated with it. In this glycemia, the benefits, again, of physical activity outweigh the risk. Hypoglycemia is the most common adverse event associated with it in people treated with insulin or insulin stimulating meds. People with diabetes should not start physical activity when they are not feeling well or had a hypoglycemic event in the past 24 hours. Type 1 diabetes sufferers should carry carbohydrates and should be wary of hypoglycemia during or 24 hours after exercise. People should not start physical activity when ketones are abnormal. In type 2 diabetes, no adverse events were reported. People should, however, be wary of hypoglycemia. If you are a physical therapist, you will probably know that small improvements in strength and balance can reduce the risk of falling and improve confidence. Physical activity can reduce the rate of injuries from falls, including those that require hospital admission. Here too, like the other topics, the benefits of physical activity will outweigh the risks. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Max for PhysioTutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.